Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm looking a bit crazy today. I didn't really worry about my hair or my room, but I'm currently in the process of reorganizing and trying to like reposition the camera to find out which is best and what looks best, what you guys like better. But I have decided on I'm going to be posting videos every Thursday and maybe a bonus video of video and maybe a bonus video throughout the week so subscribe for videos for me if you like these kind of videos and comment down below what type of video you think I, I should do next I'm thinking of doing like a summer life hacks but it's honestly up to you I don't want to do what's trending to get like views I just want to do what you guys want to see and I just want to put a couple of disclaimers out there that um I'm not trying to brag by putting this out on the internet like, I'm not saying that I have, like, the biggest makeup collection in the world. It's honestly not the neatest, but um, I'm always getting new makeup and trying to fit all of it. And second of all, <clears throat> second of all, I buy my makeup with my own birthday money, Christmas money, earned money. I worked for everything that is on that desk over there. Let's get into the video. So here is my makeup vanity desk. It is from Bath and Body Works, and it's really old. It has, like, nail polish all over it and, like, just, like, eyeshadow dust that won't come off. So, I have a big mirror. This actually does close into, like, one whole desk, and then this opens up for, like, outlets and stuff. But, um, I'm gonna start with the drawers just because I want to get them out of the way. But in this drawer, I just have, like, makeup removers. Um, that's all I have in this drawer. And I stock up on them because I go through them like crazy. And also I have this um, curling iron. There's like a pack of five pieces. But I'm going to re do a review on them. I'm thinking that should be like my next video or something. But yeah, there's that. Um, I just have this glass that I don't know. Oh, good. Six bucks. Our price eight ninety nine. Get it cheap, guys. Get it cheap. I have a bunch of Wet n Wild makeup brushes that aren't clean because you know me, girl. We have time to clean them before videos, and of course my crusty beauty blenders. Oh, that's a candle jar. That's what's on here, and then I have like this. That sad moment when you don't even know like how to count four, two, six. You can see I kind of have like an overflow of makeup. This is what it was talking about. So here I have this acrylic organizer that's from Ovani. So I really tried to keep all of my makeup together. Like all of my face makeup will be over here. And then my eyeshadows and eyeliner and everything. Eye stuff like over here. That's what my intentions were. But it didn't really work out because I realized that the foundations were too tall to fit in these tiny drawers. So I ended up having to put like the smaller makeup in here. Instead of um, trying to cram like all of this stuff over there. So I have to go, kind of go out of order because of the way everything I organized. But I know where everything is this way. So up here I have all of my little like single eyeshadows. I don't really know what you call them. But I just have like a whole bunch of wet and wild in the front here. I have some Sephora, uh, elf ones, Maybelline, Maybelline. Over here I have eye primers and just like lid primers. I have the three LA Girl Pro Primers in white, black, and nude. Wait, that would be all three inventory. Yeah. Um, I have the e.l.f. Shadow Locks. I have a hydrating primer and a shimmering primer. Down here are all of my... What? Oh. Well, this was um, eyebrow stuff, but I don't really do my eyebrows, if you took notice. I don't do my eyebrows, so there's just like a highlighting stick. Some stencils, a brow kit, um, some brow gel, and some brow pots. That's a smudge. Those are uh, eyeshadow smudge pots, but they won't fit up here, so I just, you know, keep them down there. Um, here are all of my eyeliner. I have some glitter liners, pencil liners, lippy liners. Uh, I have some eyeshadow crayons down here. So this is my foundation slash primer drawer. Uh, it's really heavy. I have some Maybelline Fit Me, Summer and Winter. Uh, I use that one like a, a lot. Um, two primers, the e.l.f. and Maybelline Baby Skin. And two tinted moisturizers because they're more lightweight for summer. Here are my concealers. I really needed a bigger drawer for this because my um, loose powder did not obviously fit in this drawer. So 
that's the main reason why I moved everything. So I have some color characters back here by Maybelline. I have a whole bunch of the LA Girl Pro Conceals in like regular and like the color corrector and highlighter contour. On this Maybelline Age Rewind that should be in the trash because you know your girl ain't getting no more. Um, a Maybelline Fit Me Foundation Stick and just some like powders. Going over in the back, I had to put all of my eyeshadow palettes because there was no way I was going to stack them all here. That would look way too cluttered. So I just put them back here. Um, I have the Nude Dude and Nude Dude palettes. I love these. They are literally so nice, you guys. And this one I really like. But the colors are really nice. And... Um, these look like the um, naked palettes, which like amaze me. Like they're so pigmented, like you would never expect. Like, can we just like? And this is a smoky palette, so just like darker colors in here. And this is also very pigmented as well. Like I couldn't believe the color payoff when I swatched these. Literally, I was so obsessed. Here I have the Morphe and Kathleen palette. <clears throat> I love this palette. Again, great color payoff. So here's my e.l.f. palette. This is like so old. I've received this from my sister, but I use it like so much. So it's also broken, but I use it a lot. So I didn't want to throw it out, but I just kind of keep it back there. I have this, oh, let me. I have this like makeup organizer that I got off of eBay. And it was like 94 cents or something. So I have a whole bunch of the Victoria's Secret lip glosses, which I'm so stupid because literally lip glosses are glosses. They're the same color. But it's okay. I have the metallic ones. Oh, this one is so pretty. I have the four glitter ones and I have the matte edition ones. I have some color jolts by Maybelline. And I also have like these uh, lip tattoos from a manic bear these were like so popping a while ago and i just didn't get a chance to make a video which i was so mad because i really wanted to but now they're out and i can't be like 10 years late on the bus so i i just skipped over these oh my god i'm so sorry i got this set of bh cosmetic brushes for my birthday and again looking crusty but what can you do ew it's just an 11 piece like brush kit from bh cosmetic this was the lid that came on as you can see like it like goes over top but like i put like uh, eyelash curlers, um, scissors, eyelash curlers, two eyelash curlers, uh, an eyebrow trimmer, tweezers, and before I get another comment saying that my hands are gross, yes, yes they are. I just swatched, so. This is my favorite part, oh my god! <gasps> so here are all of my mascaras. These are so crammed in here, I can't even pick them up, wow. Um, these are all the Color Institute with, like, these lids. Um, they work so well, though. They're waterproof, some for definition, like, some for volume. Um, and, like, they all have, like, different, like, things on them. This is the Physician's Formula Mascara. It's cute packaging. Um, some Wet n' Wild, some CoverGirl here, Maybelline. A lash tint from e.l.f. There's just, like, fibers. Uh clear eyebrow and mascara gel and the two Maybelline push-up mascaras and like this Estee Lauder and Bobbi Brown mascara. So I did have that in this bottom drawer. It used to be there, but I just found myself just using the ones on the top because they were stacked. So here I literally grab at random each day. I have some eyeshadow palettes or just palettes that didn't fit. Um, a Wet n Wild palette, an e.l.f. eyeshadow palette, uh, Maybelline blush nudes. This amazing palette. This highlighter palette that was five dollars. Can we talk about this? Literally, I want to do like. So over here, I just have like this titanium Revlon straightener because my hair needs titanium because it's colored. Uh, I have this jar that is from. Um, it's made in Colombia. That's about all I can tell you. Anastasia. Liquid lipsticks, some color pop in here, um, some dose of colors, liquid lipsticks. That's there in this drawer. I have all of my highlighters. I have a e.l.f. highlighting palette, some liquid highlighters, stick, baked powder. Yeah. 
down here I have some cream contours, bronzers, blushes. I don't own blushes. I used to have like 10 blush palettes, but I totally got out of blush. I used to collect them, so now that is my only blush. But I have like this palette down here of like all cream color correctors and contours. A stick contour to match this stick highlighter from LA Girl. And down here where the drawer where I ripped out is this Pur Pure, I don't know, Air Perfection CC Cushion Foundation. And it's in the shade Light. And I also highlighter that is supposed to be a pale. Yeah. I go over the drawer. Oh my gosh. I said I would do the drawers first. And like I just did that one and then moved on. Um, and here I just have a bunch of hair stuff. I have a hair elastic, bobby pins, some these clips, a bunch of combs, some hair ties down here, a brush, some heat protectant spray, a hair donut, just hair necessities, you know? And over here, this is the last thing. It's kind of empty, but um, there used to be two drawers down here, and I don't know why I took them out, but like I should put them back in, but I can't find them. So on top of here, I just have this like tea. I made this. Well, like, I bought the stuff. It was, like, a starter kit. Um, some of the Milani lipsticks. I absolutely love these. I want to get, like, all of them. But I tried to minimize to the colors that I need. I always need a nude shade, a dark shade, a natural shade, plum, and just, like, others. Uh, it's all empty back here, which I'm planning to buy more for my birthday, so that's why I kept those empty on purpose. I Those were in there, but I realized I needed space, so I took them out. And a whole bunch of the Wen Wild lipsticks because they're 99 cents. So why not buy every single shade? So guys, this spins. Um, it's a rotating lipstick tower. Obviously, I said that. But I got it off of Waystock. Yeah, I got it for Christmas. And like I told my mom that I wanted one. And they were like so expensive. And this one was only like uh, $20, $30, $40. That's a big range. Uh, get your stuff together. But. I don't know exactly how much, but I know it was around like twenty, thirty, forty dollars. I don't think it was twenty, but I got it for Christmas, so I'm really happy with Thank it. Thank you so much for watching, and if you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and also comment down below on your way out what type of video you think I should do next. If you think I should do some hair tutorials, makeup tutorials, anything you want to see from me, I'll make it happen. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Bye.